morning. It is April 3rd. It is a Tuesday. I cannot believe I even know that. I am headed out to go do my cardio. I just have 30 minutes on the stairs, inclined stair walk. Um, Brian lost our apartment gym key. He never uses the apartment gym um, up until now, now that we're on prep. He does his cardio in there and the kid loses everything. Literally, I bought him when we first started dating a Gucci wallet that was like $600 and he has left it in like every gym. He's left it at probably six, um, he's, he's left it at like six gas stations. Thank God whenever he goes back, someone has saved it for him and put it away, but he loses and leaves things everywhere. I cannot verbalize the amount of things he loses. And I told him the moment he started doing cardio in the cardio room, I told him, you cannot lose the key. This is where I do my cardio consistently. Every week, this is where I do my cardio. Don't lose the key. He did cardio two days ago, lost the key like within minutes. He got home and 10 minutes later, I had to go do my cardio and I was like, where's the key? Lost it. So. I am going to try to get in the gym to see if there's anyone in there to let me in. If there is no one in there, I have to drive to my gym to do my 30 minutes of cardio. I'm like really frustrated <laughs> that he lost the key. Um, but I can't let it bother me because no matter how frustrated I get, that's not going to make the key appear. So I have my BCAAs in my water bottle and I'm gonna get this 30 minutes over with um, and then have some breakfast so I will see you guys probably once I make breakfast because I have to tell you about a ton of updates about my prep that I'm super excited about so I will see you really soon after cardio Bye. here's my breakfast setup so I have my favorite meal of the whole entire day cream of rice Egg whites, BPI S'mores protein, best protein is the fucking bomb. Just buy it and eat it. It's just good. It's so fucking good in this. So s'mores and then um, cashew butter, salt, and cinnamon. I have just some Starbucks um, iced coffee that I just bought at the grocery store. No ice because our ice maker is broken and we are immature and don't call the office to fix it. And then I have my probiotic. 50 billion, doctor formulated, garden of life. It is refrigerated, so you know it's the good stuff when it's in the refrigerator. And then just renew life, digest smart, um, digestive enzymes. So just took those before I'm gonna eat. I need to eat right the fuck now. So I'm gonna watch the Kardashians and enjoy this slowly. Goodbye. All right, done with breakfast, done with work, done with my pre-workout meal. Now I am on my way out to the gym. I am taking, I haven't taken it yet, my B4 Thermogenic. I took one this morning before my fasted cardio and then I'm gonna take another one for my pre-workout. I just had water, let me use this. So this is my pre-workout, I'm gonna take it now. All right, and I have, I have to pee really bad, so I'm gonna make this talk really quick. I have Sour Patch Kids, obviously, still four weeks out, and I am still eating candy in my workout because I am not gluttonous with my macros. I am not trying to eat more food than I should. I am simply eating smart. Um, 
I just, I'm well fed. I don't crave anything. I'm not hungry. I'm doing really fucking well, you guys. And that's kind of what I wanted to update you on. Um, prep is going amazing. I finally, like, it went through my plateau and overcame it and now I'm hitting low weights every single day. I feel absolutely incredible. I've never felt better in my whole entire life and I'm not kidding. I feel amazing. I'm not tired. I'm not sluggish. I don't, I don't know. I feel fucking awesome. I just feel I'm hitting really heavy weights in the gym. Like I'm pushing myself. It's a, It's been fucking incredible. And I am just smart with my eating like I find a meal plan that works and I and I stick to it I'm gonna stick with this meal plan up until I compete um, I have my highest carb meals pre and post workout I have sugar in in between my work or during my workouts like I'm just playing it I'm very smart when it comes to my nutrition my timing my supplements um, I'm just doing everything honestly the right way and I'm not complaining or bitching about it um, and now the new prep update from my coach, which he just told me yesterday to do. I just got this information. We are going to start reverse dieting into the show. I think we're just going to see how it goes this week. This is the first week of my new reverse dieting plan. I'm like, I'm like 5% nervous, like barely anything because, you know, Increasing my carbs as much as I am makes me nervous that I might hold on to water, I might go up on the scale. So I'm just hoping my metabolism is gonna be super fired up and like just suck all these carbs up. So yesterday was a rest day for me. Usually my carbs are at 190 and my fat is at 55. He bumped me up yesterday for my rest day to 60 fat, so just five more grams of fat, and then 225 carbs. So that's what I ate yesterday. Today I am eating 245 carbs, so every day I'm going up 20. So 245 carb, 265 carb the next day, 285 carb the next day, and then on Friday, you guys, I will be eating 305 grams of carbs. Fats are gonna stay at 60 the whole time. Protein is at 145 the whole time. So I literally almost lost it yesterday. I told Paul I loved him. I was like, I, I love you. Like, I'm in love with you. Um, best fucking news I could get. Uh, so I'm just really excited to see what happens this week. I'm just calm. I'm keeping an open mind. I'm trusting him. Uh, God forbid I go up in weight. I still have four weeks to go. So I can always, we can always dial it back in if we need to, uh, which I think is the plan. And that's why we're, we're trying this out right now. So, um, I check in with him, um, after I eat 305 carbs to see what the hell my body's doing to see what he wants me to do. So Every day I'm just increasing my carbs and it's going to be really fucking exciting. So uh, the reason why I'm having such a successful prep, it's not a sexy answer. There's no secret other than consistency. I wanted this bad. I want to become a bikini pro bad. I wanted to do it my first year of competing. I wanted to make a name for myself. I wanted people to be like, oh, Christina Sullivan, holy shit, she went pro in a year. It might not happen this year for me. I've never competed before. You know, I'm not gonna hold myself to that goal and be pissed off if I don't get it. I'm just in such a good place mentally right now that I'm just so enjoying this. I'm loving it. I love the structure. I love the grind. I have been consistent, literally. And I, when I say this, I don't know if people understand or really realize that I'm being 100% honest when I say that I have not went off my macros since 2016, since Christmas day. That was the last like free meal. I don't even remember what I ate. I, I can't even remember. I don't think, I didn't even go crazy. I just had Christmas dinner and not tracked it. And then ever since then I have been tracking my macros and have been hitting them on the dot. I have not had a free meal. I've, I've hit my macros no exaggeration, no exaggeration, every single day since Christmas 2016. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was hard in the beginning, but 
right now it's worth it. During my reverse diet when I was eating 305 carbs every day, that was worth it. Uh, even in my reverse, when I was eating 305 carbs every single day, I still didn't go out to eat and just order off the menu. I tracked everything. We went to restaurants. If we went out to eat, which was very minimal, it was sushi. And I tracked my sushi. Like, you can ask my husband, this is not a joke. So, I get questions all the time from my clients and from you guys. How do you do a reverse diet and lose so much weight? And how are you in prep eating 2,100 calories consistently? It's just consistency. That is the answer. You don't have to be like me. I've never heard of someone act like I do. And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm, I'm just being honest. Um, I've never met someone or heard of someone that has been as regimented as me. And now I'm going into my bikini show eating 305 grams of carbs. Like, I'm just uh, really fucking happy that I did it this way and that I did the hard stuff. And if you want something bad enough, like truly, like yeah, you can say that you want to lose weight. But if you keep cheating on your diet, you don't really, <laughs> you don't really want to lose the weight then. Uh, it's only up to you. That's, that's it. That's all it comes down to is you and how bad you really want it. And if you cheat, that's on you. And it, that's fine. You don't have to be super consistent like I am. But you guys ask how I got to where I am and how my reverse was so successful, how I lost weight during my reverse. It was because I tracked every fucking thing that went into my body and I hit my macros on the dot every single day. And I don't regret a damn thing. I am so happy I did it this way because now my prep is unbelievably easy. It feels like I'm just living. I'm eating more four weeks out than most people eat in their everyday life. So if you want to get the body of your dreams the fastest way possible, it just takes consistency. That is literally it. It will be hard to stay consistent, yes, but is it worth it in the long run? I can tell you that it is because I am I'm in the, my end result and it is worth it. I don't know if this is gonna piss bikini competitors off or if this is gonna make some competitors be like, yeah, bitch, you're lying. But truthfully, I'm not craving anything. I'm ex I don't want to say I'm not excited to eat after my show because of course like I'm excited because my mom's coming and it's my anniversary it's my wedding anniversary my coach is gonna be here um, it's gonna be a really great celebration I'm, I'm excited for the celebration with my friends and family the food is just like a bonus like I could go out to whatever restaurant we're going to and get a grilled fish and potato and veggies and be a pig and shit super happy i'm not craving sweets like i'm really just not because i eat what i want so i don't know i'm, I'm truly just i'm just good food isn't doesn't control me anymore i have the control so like i'm not gonna give food that control like oh my god i can't wait to have a donut i don't even like donuts <sighs> I, I mean a chocolate chip cookie would be really cool, but like I don't like I don't need it I don't know. I'm just really good. I'm in such a good spot. So um, I'm Thrilled with my bikini prep so far and I'm excited to show you guys what happens now that I am reverse dieting into the show I've never watched a bikini competitor reverse diet into a show uh, especially eating 305 carbs a day so I'm just excited to show you guys that dieting and competing does not have to be unhealthy and scary. Uh, oh, I guess scary maybe, but it doesn't have to be unhealthy. Take the time off to increase your metabolism and take care of yourself and uh, you'll have a really successful prep and diet so i'm gonna stop talking those are my updates for prep i'm gonna get headed to the gym and doing back biceps and abs so i'm gonna take you along you guys saw an upper body workout my last vlog it was kind of just like shoulders and um back but today is just back day and then i have legs tomorrow but i'll catch you at the gym for back 
All right, guys, I have not done commentary behind a workout in so long, so let's just get started. So I started off this back workout with pendulum rows. It's pretty much like a bent over row meets a deadlift almost. It is amazing. This is my heavy set, um, my heavy exercise for the day. It gets my heart rate up. I am like dying by the end of these. So I love to start my back workout with pendulum rows as of recently. And then I superset that with a lower weight bent over row underhand grip. I did four sets total of these two exercise back to back. And for this uh, bent over row, I did 10 to 12 reps. My second exercise of the day was a machine close grip row. Now this, I kept every single set in here because I wanted to show you how I progress in weight. So this is my very first set. I did 20 reps with very light weight. I am pulling my elbows back and really squeezing my back, feeling my back muscles every single rep, but this is lightweight, so I did went for 20 reps. I add a 10-pound plate to each side, and then I go for 15. So as the reps get lower, I am increasing my weight. So I did 20, 15, and then now I'm going for 10. I added more weight on the bar since the reps are getting lower. And then right before my heavy set, I wanted to show you guys that I, this is the time that I eat my candy. I am getting into my heavy sets. I did four sets of eight with the heaviest weight that I could do while still feeling the contraction in my back. I am really squeezing my back, pulling back with my elbows. Every single rep is like a struggle. I am pushing, but that candy just helps get me through. Now the third exercise, one of my favorites, I never skip this on back day, is a cable lat pullover, cable lat pull down, whatever you want to call it. I love using the rope attachment. Now I have a slight bend in my elbow, but I am just bringing my elbows back and you just feel it in your lats. Like I actually feel like I could fly away. It took me a while to get this exercise down, but if you can look at the weight, I'm not doing a lot of weight. Go light and work up to this because you will need to have lighter weight to really feel it. If you go too heavy, you'll feel it in your triceps. So that was the first exercise of this superset. And then right after the cable lap pullovers, I did kind of like chin-ups or close grip uh, pull-ups. But instead of using the machine, I like to use a resistance band. I'm actually terrible at pull-ups. I never do them, never practice them. I fucking hate them, to be completely honest. They're so hard to me, which is so funny. I have a lot of muscle, but I'm so weak at this exercise. But adding a resistance band really helps me work more than it, I would be working on the machine. And I wanted, I kept this raw. I wanted to show you my struggles. Um, I hate these. I hate them so much. But for back growth, back development, getting that X shape, pull ups are a must. Now, going into the fourth exercise of the day was a wide grip lat pull down. I, as you can see, I don't have a crazy wide grip. I am short, I'm tiny. I don't need to have my hands out all the way out to the sides. So this is the grip that I really feel it. And I did five sets of eight to 10 reps. So I went pretty heavy and then I superset that with a plank knee to elbow. Now I have my legs up on the lat pull down seat and I am just crunching and keeping my core tight the whole entire time. These kill my obliques. I think obliques are like the sexiest thing ever and I enjoy working them out. So this exercise just, it gets my heart rate up, gets me sweating. You have to give this a try. Go slow, don't speed through this and really crunch from side to side. It's amazing. I did five sets of this super set. Now for the next exercise, this is a low row on the cables using a rope attachment. I It's like a bent over row essentially and I am pulling my elbows back and really squeezing my middle back. Like this is amazing, you have to try it. I love ending a back workout with this exercise. And to superset this move, I did a bent over lateral raise to target the rear delts. Um, I did four sets of 15 to 20 of the rear delt uh, raise, and I actually did a tri-set. I did another exercise I didn't film. It was just a cable rope hammer curl for my biceps. I just did 15 reps of that. And this is my very last exercise of the day. My camera was dying, but I really wanted to show you this. They're called rack chins or an inverted row. 
I have a step, like a like a step where you see I have, my legs are elevated. You could use a step, a bench, a, a stability ball, and I have an overhand grip and I am rowing and it sucks. It's so hard. Like this is such a great back finisher. If I have the um, the racks available, I will finish every single back workout with this. It gets my heart racing. I am dying. I just did 10 reps of that. And then I superset that with another ab movement. This is, I call it just lying leg lifts with a pulse. And I did 20 of those. I did four rounds of this whole entire exercise. And that was my back day. It gave me a killer pump. I was sweating. My heart was racing. It was awesome. Home from the gym, had my post-workout meal. And I couldn't film it because my camera actually died. Before I went to the gym, I was charging it. And the outlet in my kitchen is like really weird and it actually wasn't charging so i thought my camera was charging this whole time and it was not so my camera died i wasn't able to show you my post-workout meal but it was the same thing i meal prepped last week ground turkey asparagus and rice um brian's having kind of a hard day today with prep so we are taking the night to unplug my phone is on airplane mode Ooh. I hope his phone's on airplane mode. Yeah, no one, no one, no one reaches out to me anyway. It doesn't matter, but I want Instagram off. Oh, it's off. And we are gonna watch, we were gonna go mini golf. I was gonna surprise him with mini golf when he came home from work. And then we were gonna go take a little sunset beach walk, but we laid down on the couch and we got really comfortable. Hell yeah. And so we decided on a movie night instead. So uh, we just had dinner. He just walked Bailey. Mm -hmm. I just fed Luna. I'm gonna go for a quick 10 minute walk because we're gonna be laying down for an hour and 45 minutes. At least. Yeah, we'll be laying down for the rest of the night. I so I wanna just get a little spent. walk in. Yeah, we're just tired. So we're gonna watch The Commuter, Liam Neeson. He's my, I wish he was my dad. I love him. I love Liam Neeson. So we're gonna watch this movie, The Commuter. Never heard of it, but any movie by him that he is in, I have never been disappointed in, ever. So I just wanna give you guys a little quick update because my camera died and I suck. But I'm just gonna vlog this whole week and show you um, my kind of like reverse dieting protocol that I'm following for this show. And Bailey is drinking out of the toilet. Bailey. Hey, Missy. Hey, Such an asshole. There's water in her bowl and everything. So, um, yeah, tomorrow is higher carbs. Today was, today was 245. Tomorrow is 265. And it is leg day, high volume leg day. Um, honestly, I'm probably just going to work out tomorrow. Probably not going to film it because it's, I don't have the best workouts when I film because uh, I got to make sure the camera is set up and everything. So, um, I will just catch you guys tomorrow for a little bit of my day and I'm excited to just relax and unplug and have a great night with Brian and not think about social media or electronics or anything. I encourage you guys to do this once a week at the very least once a week. Babe. Yeah. Can we try to do this once a week where we unplug? I would love that. Okay. Cool. So that's my challenge for you. Once a week, make it be like. Friday or something and just unplug. My phone is literally on airplane mode. I don't even know where it is. So that's about that. That's about it. I'm gonna go for my walk, start this movie, and then just have a relaxing night with Brian and the puppies. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.